Greetings, fellow Decepticons. Sound Blaster 1987 here with part 3 of my Mini Force X Penta X Tron Combiner reviews. This is for Maxbot. Max is the Yellow Ranger of the team, and he has typically the largest and heaviest vehicles because Max is the strongest member of the team, since his superpower is, you know, exponential super strength. So, this massive great dump truck here is much like Long Haul of the G1 Constructicons, going to become most of a torso for the combined form. So, for size comparison in vehicle mode, here he is with Leo for tank and form the left leg, and Volt for a hung that becomes the right arm. So you can get a proper sense of vehicle scale between these figures. Bring these guys off to one side. So, to transform the max bot into robot mode, first remove this piece here from the top of the dump truck. Then unclip and unfold the robot legs like so, very similar to the way the dump driver from Power Rangers Operation Overdrive works. Then unclip this piece and fold it back. Pull out the shoulders, extend the arms like so. And continue extending the legs as before. Then flip out the heel spurs like so. And yep, split the legs like so. And unfortunately, due to the yeah. Famerine's massive rear wheels are in the way. Max's arms cannot go all the way down. Now, realistically, on the original South Korean figure, this little bar here would sneak clip into this clip in his lower back to hold the, you know, front grill of the... Ah, I was going to say it doesn't work because of the engineering clashes on the Chinese version, but evidently it does work, so that shut me up, didn't it? So, here we have the slightly geometrically unstable Max Bot in his robot mode. As you can see, he's got a bit of a backward slant to his uh, design due to the complications of having to engineer the dump truck mode. I should point out that these Knee joints are also the combiner ports for the legs of the combined mode, since he becomes the torso. And these massive plug holes in the front wheels here are actually the shoulder connectors. So, for functionality in this mode, Max has got a little bit of head rotation. Shoulders can rotate a little bit, but are impeded by armor at both ends. Elbows can go both ways for transformation purposes, which can lead to some pretty horrific injury looking poses there. No wrist swivel or anything, sadly. He's got ratcheted hips impeded by the shape of the armor panels and such like. A very deep knee bend due to the combiner engineering. And nothing at the ankle. His foot does ratchet around for the sake of the robot transformation for a combined mode, but that's about it. He doesn't exactly come with a weapon, but he does have a massive great shield made out of the, yeah, the lip that goes over the bed of a dump truck, so you can put this in his hand like so. Being a Chinese undersized knockoff, this figure is missing a bit of uh, paint, specifically the Black detailing around the yeah, X on the shield there. So, for size comparison, here is Max next to Lucy and Sammy's robot mode. As you can see, Max is the biggest because, of course, combiner leaders that end up being the torso of a combined mode always end up being the biggest robots, don't they? That more or less concludes part 3 of my Mini Force Panther X Tron reviews. 
Play a bit of Sound Blaster 1987. Join me again next time when I'll be reviewing Sammy, who forms a helicopter and the left arm. Till then, till all are one.